This recipe was made by an AI, and today we're gonna make it. Hello everybody, we're back. It's been a long time, I've been very busy, but we are finally on a break from school, so I thought it would be a great time to record another episode, maybe a couple episodes, so we can get them out there, you know? Today, we had a great idea suggested by one of my friends, I don't know who it was. There's this new AI coming around, it's really popular, it's called ChatGPT. It's basically a better version of Google. What I thought, well not I, but my friend thought, why don't you like ask this AI for a recipe, right? So today we're gonna make some food from ChatGPT and then we're gonna see if it's good, all that good stuff. Here we are, we have some food related issues in our family. My mom can't have histamine and my brother is allergic to wheat. So I'm gonna ask for a low histamine recipe and see what it gives me because that it's useful for things like this if you don't know what like need a substitute for something that includes wheat you can say what can i use instead of this and it'll say okay we're gonna ask it what countries have the best food and then we're gonna decide from there okay there we go so it's saying these are the ones that it's suggesting italy france japan china and mexico we're gonna try a recipe from france and then we'll see if this works. All right, here we go. This is a good one. It took me a little bit to find one that works because there are some things. It doesn't work properly sometimes because it is just a computer. Um, There's some things that have histamine that my mom can't have. But this one's good. I don't want to say it's the French one, but it's a French recipe. This is the French. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Chicken in wine is the English translation. So this is all doable. I think that's good, so we're gonna try that out and we'll see you when we have all the ingredients. We're back. We have our ingredients. We have our AI with the... Also, peep the new merch right here. Yeah. Everybody, you can uh, hit us up on... When they're not for sale, but one yeah. day uh, when the episode's sponsored by Shopify, we will use Shopify to make a website to sell these. Yeah. One day in 2023. So we got our recipe and we're gonna start. Keep anyway. the olive oil okay. in a large skillet. Well, the skillets are all dirty, so let me wash them first. Okay. Step one: wash your dishes. Oh! Get yourself get yourself a scrub daddy if you don't have one. These things are amazing. Well, this is the end of the year. I mean, I don't know when it's gonna come out, but we're a couple days before New Year's. So, what were your highlights of 2022? Me? Yes, you. Well, who else am I talking to? <laughs> the scrub daddy. What were your highlights? Do you have any highlights? highlights? I'll have to think about it. Okay, you think about it. Uh, heat the olive oil in a large skillet, skillet or Dutch oven over medium heat. Add the chicken thighs and cook until browned on both sides. So we're just gonna fry them, basically. Yeah. I would say put salt and pepper on these before they even go in. Like, we could take them out, we just massage them, give them the, give them the little, you know, what for before we put them in. Sure. I'm gonna put in my garlic olive oil that I got for Christmas from my grandparents, Nanny and Poppy. Thanks, Thank Nanny you. Poppy. It really tastes like garlic and it's really... Well, weird. I wonder why. But it's good. So, chicken thighs are out here. We're gonna put a little salt and pepper. Not in the recipe, we're taking liberties here. A little salt on each of these bad boys. A little pepper. Might even get fancy with it and put a little garlic powder on top. We're going with the all garlic today. We got the garlic olive oil. Oh, that is true. There's though. garlic going in it. It already smells early key. I don't know, maybe we don't need add the garlic. garlic powder. We should do what it. are we, Italian? We'll do a little bit. Of, I'll do a little bit. Well, it's not an Italian recipe, so I didn't count. Are we France? Are we, fr are we France? We are France, guys. Are we French? <laughs> we are France. You want to massage or am I massaging? You can massage. Okay, massage. So you're gonna massage that into the... I know it didn't say this, but this is just like, I don't know, I would say general rule for all you, uh, all ye beginner cooks out there. Unlike Which me. I believe is the is the audience we are really uh, targeting. It's, as this is a cooking show, you are here to learn from the professionals. I don't know where they are. But if you season like, just like do this before and then you're gonna fry them after, I, it, I find that the flavor is just a little better. So even if something says, just put Coming it in. from... Put a little salt and pepper up in there. Gordon and, Ramsay and salt. Yeah. Get a little salt and pepper happening <clears throat> and then do what it says. Then we add this to yeah. our pan. I mean, you need a little more, Jackson. Like, what? Uh, oh, you got 
like nothing happened. I thought that was a lot. You thought that was a lot? Blah, 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 blah. As we're waiting, <clears throat> we should ask the people, go in the... Jackson never knows what to make for his recipes, so you got to say what you say. What you want to? What do you want to see in the next one? What's the next thing you want to make? And the comment that gets the most likes, he will make regardless of what it is. It's gonna be two likes. I just that's... said I said the most. Didn't say it had to be a lot. <laughs> I just said the one that has the most. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna get these going, and then we're gonna get our onion and garlic. By the way, recipe says one tablespoon of olive oil, which we did more and four chicken thighs, which we have seven. So, so far we haven't actually followed the recipe, but it's all good. Medium onion chopped and two garlic cloves. So what do you want to do with one of those? Or do you want to do the chicken? What's the game plan here? I'll do the chicken. Okay. Uh, you do the chicken. Okay, I'll do the chicken. I won't do the onions though, because I don't want to cry. So what are you doing? Are you just I'll watching the, everything I'll, happen? I'll do the garlic. <laughs> chicken thighs are going in. Oh, sound like a cow today. Okay, those are in. Um, basically, we're just going to cook them until they're done. Uh, which could be different depending on your cooking temperature. Look at that growth. Wow. Okay, we're on like medium high over there. A special ingredient of the day is cooking wine. I actually didn't know you could get from the store. Uh, I don't know if it has alcohol. It says that it has it still has alcohol in it, but it's for cooking. I don't know. We could just buy it from the store. They actually let me go out of the cell checkout with it, which is interesting. I thought that they were gonna ask for like oh. an age or something. But anyway, uh, Sherry Cooking Wine from Chateau, which is the brand. Not sponsored, but that's what we're using today. We are mincing our garlic. I'm having troubles over here. Jackson's, oh no, look, fun fact, watch this. Oh, something else that is not on the recipe, but we're gonna do is, you could do that, but watch, I'll show you the easier way. We do need to make rice. Look at this. Rice and salad. Fun tip of the day from Harrison, guest chef. Jackson is having trouble peeling the garlic. And if you just put it like this, put your knife on it, and squish it down. The garlic stays intact, but the uh, skin will come off really quickly. All right, we're sizzling there. We need to make rice and cook the onions. Now it says one medium onion, but we have two small. So two small equals two big. I think two small equals one medium, but I don't actually know if that's correct math. Well, I should do an episode at home. Can I be on the channel? Sure. Can I make one and send it in? Sure. <laughs> uh, if you want, then we'll have maybe more more uploads. Fun. Just the, now that I got one of these, I can be a part of the King's Kitchen as a drink. Yeah, that was my Christmas gift to him. Uh, King's Kitchen apron. Which is great. Which you can purchase. I feel like... I feel like... If, if you're someone... watching this, you probably know Jackson, so you can just ask Jackson to make you one, and he can negotiate a deal. It will not be free, though. With you. Uh, no, it's it's merch. This is this is high-quality merch. They're actually really nice, though. It is The apron nice. is really nice, and, and the logo and everything, it's already... It's high-quality, so... If you're interested, talk to the guy. Next thing we'll you know, we'll be having uh, sherry cooking wine with our names on it. Also, if you don't know how to cut an onion properly, or here, let me rephrase that. If you think you know how to cut an onion, forget everything you know and watch the Gordon Ramsay video, How to Slice an Onion. If you just look up How to Slice an Onion, Gordon Ramsay, it'll show up. And it's just like the easiest way. It's so nice, he shows you so good. You do need to have a sharp knife though, so we can make it even sharper. Though. And if you don't know how to do this, watch Gordon Ramsay's masterclass, because that's what he shows you. 2022 highlight. Oh, yeah, okay. To, bring it back. Trying, bring it back. Still trying to think. Come on, you got nothing? No. King's Kitchen started in 2022. Gonna, That's not a highlight. I was gonna say this starting this. Here, how about onion? Um, okay, starting this is a highlight for you. You got nothing. Jackson had no. his year was terrible. Track was good. Yeah, yeah. Jackson, you were a track star this year. You did a good job. Yeah. Good started track. track. That's a new thing though. So that's why it. I said that. Okay. That's all I can think about. Track in King's Kitchen. Everything else sucks. Not bad things. That is a lie. Whew, these are like spicy in my eyes. What about you? What about me? I mean, I went. I did a lot of traveling this year. Oh yeah. Which was really nice. My highlight probably would be going to Costa Rica. Uh, and on top of that would be like the film that, that I make with it. I'm really proud of it. That'll be out by the time this is. Yeah, out. that'll be out. So go check check that out. Jackson, I'll put, put the link. Put in it on the. I'll put. put Put on a card right here, right now. Don't forget to do that when you upload it, because often you forget, but it'll be up in the top right corner there. Yeah. Um, yeah, check that out. But that was, this whole thing's just an ad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, I, I'm really happy with that. Like, I say it often, but that's like the best thing I think I've made. And I'm really happy with it. Jackson Helper did, he did some animation. I haven't even seen the thing. Yes, I've, I've, seen just, I've just seen the trailer, but it looks good. So well, I'm excited. So that was, that was probably a highlight, was like making that and, and going, to, going to Costa Rica. And I traveled, I was in, I was in New York, 
in Los Angeles, which is really mm -hmm. rough. So those couple of things. I've been doing a lot of video work, and that's been been a, I think a big highlight. Has been like expanding my videography skills and just like production skills. I bought I bought my camera. This thing uh, right here. A year ago, a year and a bit ago. So that was like the first camera I've ever owned, and now I'm already talking about getting another one. So yeah, a lot of cool things. Look at this. We're uh, Woo! we're getting crispy. Do you want to show the people? I was gonna say the camera, camera, camera over here. This is a chicken. Looks really good, actually. Cool. We what need to we make uh, red wine chicken broth, but we need to make the chicken broth because we're just using the cubes. Or it's we're using vegetable broth actually, but so don't read the ingredients. They're not good. It's just salt, straight up. Directions for simple broth: one cube and two cups. How much broth do we need? We need one cup of chicken broth. It's fine. Or we could so we can make one cup. So double the recipe. So. If we use one of these and two cups, so we use half a cube, it'll make one cup, which is what it says, but we need two. Aha, that took a second. Cube. So we need a whole cube. Okay, so we need to boil some water. Two cups of white rice. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. So get the rice. Chicken is still going for all you at home. Um, so put your two cups in there. Okay, then you do double the amount of water. Well, first of all, you gotta rinse the rice. Uh, but there are, this is ready. Two cups of water for this, boiling water. Put that in the bowl. Two cups boiling water, making broth. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hints of oak. You have a couple. Oh my god, show the people how many carrots Look we have. Look at our carrots. Come on. No, I don't know. Like there's three bags of that. This is a bag. It's like, like three of my hand. I'm gonna say that's enough on the chicken. We're gonna take the chicken out. Chicken? It's cooked. I think mostly it might need a little more. Oh. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer the onion and garlic, I think, right, Jackson? Yes. Okay, so. pour in the, okay. <laughs> Onions and garlic to the skillet, skillet and cook until translucent. I'm trying to help you out. Cook the until- work makes the dream work. The dream is working. Consider the dream worked. Cook on low until, well, I don't know, medium maybe, medium low, until the onions get translucent. Translucent. I thought you were the salad uh, queen. Come on, anything. Yeah, I could be the salad queen. All right, I'm gonna cut one of our 700 carrots. Hello, welcome to this side of the kitchen. Um, this is what we're working with for our translucent onion. They're starting to get a little see-through, right? They're they're crisping up, not crisping up. Sorry, they're softening. Okay, this is Jackson. Wow, he's uh he's cooking. Um, okay, now. Rice is starting to boil, so we're gonna have to get that going too. Okay, onions are translucent. Carrots uh, are being cut. Rice is boiling. Cutting. We're rolling. Moving. ASMR carrot. <laughs> Pour in the red wine, chicken broth, tomato paste, thyme, and bay leaf. Bring to a boil and then reduce the heat to low and simmer for 30 minutes. So, red wine, chicken broth, tomato paste. Jackson, you can keep doing that and I'll do this or what? Sure. Or do you wanna pour it in? Yeah. Two cups of chicken broth with the onions. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. One teaspoon. Ugh. Okay, we did highlights from 2022, but what is, how about like, what is, oops, I totally just put that everywhere. What are you looking forward to in 2023? What's coming for King's Kitchen? What's coming? Tell us. It's a secret. Oh, it's a secret? Because I don't even know. Okay, thyme leaves. We did two teaspoons of thyme leaves because we're doubling the recipe. We've got two cups chicken broth, two tablespoons tomato paste, Two teaspoons thyme, uh, thyme leaves, and then we're gonna put in one full cup of our not sponsored uh, sherry wine. We've it smells like wine, though. I mean, it is. I guess it straight up is wine. Uh, we're gonna make that boil, and we're gonna do one cup of this. Okay, one cup of wine. Let's go. Oh, this could be really good. I'm excited to be French. I don't know if this makes you French necessarily. I think it, well, I think it does. Uh, do we put the bay leaf in yet, or and the bay leaf? But it, but it says one, so we're gonna put in. Two. Bay leaf, one, bay leaf, two. Okay, two bay leaves, and we're gonna bring that to a boil on the on the pan there, and then uh, and then it's gonna simmer. Oh, it smells good. Get right in there. Right? Yeah. Okay, that's gonna boil. We gotta get the sauce boiling, then we'll simmer. Deal with that later, and then we can salad. Anything else we wanna make, we can make. Okay, we're simmering now. Well, we're actually, technically we're boiling because it's like full heat. So once we're boiling, we're gonna turn it down to low, and then it'll uh, it'll simmer for 30 minutes. So we need another timer, um, and that's just gonna simmer for 30 minutes. Maybe I'll cover. Does it say to cover? We've got uh, cucumber. We've got carrots. What else are we gonna put in there? Okay, okay, tomato. It's snack time. Since we're taking so long here, 
Can I have a piece? I'm gonna have some now. Thanks. That hits the spot, Jackson. It may, yeah. This was the spot. That was the cheese. <laughs> Look at that. Hit the spot. That's what I'm saying? That was a weird noise. I'm gonna roll that back. That was, that was a cheese. It's like whenever I pull out meat, I always smack the meat. See what kind of sound you get out of it. You know those people on TikTok? They try to get the perfect dab. No? No, on TikTok. So no. But I did see somebody do uh, one in like a church or something and it echoed. Yeah. Have you ever Is done that? No. How do you, what do you mean? Like, what, like, what are we aiming for here? Like right, this. Right there. Are we gonna close too? Just I guess so, right? right? Okay. Okay, 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 let's try. Ready? Okay. Oh! <laughs> wow. Mm hmm. I've never done that first track. Yeah, that was good. Okay, we're gonna go. We'll see you in. Whenever that's done. 20 minutes jump transition. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow, that was so fast. Our rice is done. Rice is done. How's the review on the rice, Jackson? Fluffy. Fluffy rice. Sauce is almost done. Simmering. We're gonna add some stuff to that, but we gotta get the rest of the salad going. So, yeah. Jackson's on salad duty. Okay, that is. All right, I'm putting the chicken back in, uh, some chicken back in, and then we can mix it in with the sauce, so it, maybe it'll cover it. What do you think about that? Cover it. Neither. We're gonna get this to make a dressing for us. Okay, question is, what is a good salad dressing for a salad with cucumber, tomato, carrots, and feta cheese, which is what Jackson cut? Two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and salt and pepper to taste. Okay. It's called she a simple vinaigrette. She can't have red wine vinegar though. Yeah, we can do apple cider. Don't do that much though. No. You do that, I'm gonna do this first though. Uh, our sauce. Look at that. Look at that chicken. Mmm, it looks good. So it's been bubbling like this for a while, but it used to be all the way up here. And now it's all the way down here. So we simmered a lot of the water and I'm assuming alcohol out of it. Uh, and it smells very good. Okay, small bowl. Mix together the butter and flour to form a paste. And then add it in there and make it boil again. Two tablespoons of butter is made. Four tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of flour. Four tablespoons of melted butter. Four tablespoons is a quarter cup. So we can get a quarter cup of butter. We're gonna melt it in the microwave. Just waiting for it to melt. Put it in for like 30 seconds. I don't know how long. Anyway, melt the butter and then we'll add the flour in there. Okay, I just will put a little less. And then we're gonna put a quarter cup of flour in there and mix it into a paste. Do you wanna do that? Sure. So you just go up to, just under a half, I guess, because I have less than a quarter. That makes it. Good. So we ended up with a quarter cup of butter and a quarter cup of flour and we mixing it in. We're gonna make this thick paste. Okay, taking the chicken out, paste going in the pan, uh, and then we're gonna add in some heavy cream, which we're gonna do a full cup. Well, this is a cup, but I'm not gonna do a full cup, I don't think. You can do a little, a little under a full cup. This is our paste mixed with the sauce that came from the chicken and everything else. This is the paste, it's very thick. I mean, it's just to make it boil, but it's hard to make that boil, it's so thick. So let's just put the cream in, what do you think? Okay, Jackson's gonna grab the cream. Okay, we're gonna get that mixed up. Then that's gonna, um, that's just gonna kind of simmer for a couple minutes. And then we're basically done. We just let the sauce thicken, which is already thick. We just gotta let it, we might actually have to add a little more like water or something to make it a little thinner. And then uh, uh, Jackson's gonna make a dressing and we're set. Okay, so I changed the recipe. I'm doing uh, apple cider vinegar. Uh, salad dressing. Okay, in a small bowl, whisk together the apple cider vinegar, olive oil, Dijon mustard, honey, salt, and pepper until well combined. Okay, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar. <laughs> one tablespoon of olive oil. Teaspoon of Dijon mustard. You could use the one that has a honey mustard in there, which already has some honey in it. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We're using honey mustard, whatever, doesn't matter. Add, do I, I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna add the chicken back in. Okay, we got our Dijon mustard, and then we need add, we're just adding a little bit extra of everything because it's uh, not gonna be enough for all of us. <laughs> yeah. And then salt and pepper, and then we should be good. All right, now we uh, mix her up. I think we're ready now.
okay, we're done everything, and uh, nice. now we're just gonna eat. Time so to eat. We will tell you how it is after. We'll see you later. We just finished eating, and we thought it was all ready to go. And turned out that the chicken wasn't cooked through fully. So if you're making this, make sure you kick cook. cook. Make sure you cook, cook the, chicken. the chicken more. <laughs> How was it though? I liked it. It was good. It, was... it tasted cheesy, even though there was no cheese in it. It's because he said it's it was creamy. It's like, yeah. It was kind of like creamy. making a cheese sauce, but it was really good. Uh, I would give it a seven and a half, eight maybe. I would give it nine. Wow. And dad said nine and a half. Mom, do you have a, do you have a review number? Um, I think it's a nine. Nine. So pretty good all the way around. Pretty good. The AI did a good job. Yeah. All right. So. If you want a good recipe, use ChatGPT. There you go. Um, subscribe, like the video, tell us what you want to see next, and tell Jackson. It's Jackson's show. Yeah, it's my show. My show. My show. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>